World number one, Jin Yun Ko. Let's analyze her golf swing today. Firstly, taking a look at Jin's setup, you're going to notice that her stance is quite wide. Now, we've all been told that stance width has to be shoulder width with a driver. Well, let's take a look at Jin's with her iron. That's pretty close to shoulder width, in my opinion. And so we have to understand that the concepts that we've been taught throughout the years may not be right. And that's okay. That's what we're here to learn. Now, Jin's stance is wide. And you're going to notice something that happens as a result of this. So as she transitions from the setup to the back swing position, to the top of the swing, you're going to notice the space that she creates behind the golf ball. So look at all the space that her upper body has created from the red line. And same with the lower body as well. Now, the important thing to realize is that this may look like to you as a sway. And apparently swaying is bad, right? Well, that is very subjective and it depends on what sort of contact you're getting. And I would imagine Jin is absolutely flushing it. And so we have to make sure that we're talking about the things that actually matter in our golf swing in order to produce good ball flights and consistent ball flights as well. Now the big thing as to why this is totally fine for Jin to sway laterally off the golf ball to start with is because of this move that we're going to take a look at right now. As she works from the last parts of her backswing to the top of the backswing, watch what her head and chest does all the way up to the top. You can see that now, as she transitions into the downswing, the upper body has already started to shift laterally in the other direction now. So her upper body is starting to shift towards the left, and her pressure is starting to shift more towards the left in the downswing, actually not even in the downswing, it's before the downswing is occurring. It's at the end stages of the backswing that Jin is starting to shift laterally towards the target. And so she's matched up how much she's pushed away from the golf ball with starting to push back towards the target in the other direction to offset the amount that she's pushed the other way. Now clearly she's getting good contact, she's world number one for a reason. So ask yourself, is swaying actually bad? Let's transition her into the downswing now and you're going to notice a couple of things in regards to where her elbows are positioned. So what you'll notice is that her right elbow is underneath the left there and as she transitions all the way into the hitting zone that we're going to get this club into a nice position here and nice position meaning that she isn't someone who creates a lot of lag in her golf swing. So the club shaft is releasing down towards the golf ball and that's totally fine because as we get into the impact zone she doesn't need a lot of shaft lean now clearly there is some amount of shaft lean but compared with a pga tour golfer she's not going to need as much shaft lean as what they would mainly because she doesn't have as much speed as them shaft lean is a good thing to control your spin and so if you don't have enough speed and if you don't have a lot of speed, then you don't need a lot of shaft lean to offset that to have an optimized ball fly. So there's no need to have a bunch of lag for female golfers. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that there needs to be none. I'm just saying that a focus on trying to pull the handle down and increase lag is not really the way that I would go about creating shaft lean. Jin is creating some nice shaft lean mainly because she's able to open up her chest and her hips and then that, those hands are just going to follow around her body from there. So she's continuing to, continuing to open up the hips and chest and that's going to create the hands to work forward and push this club head and club shaft in front of the golf ball to create that compressed contact. And as she works all the way up to the top of the backswing you're going to see some really good extension with her arms and that club head away from her body and up towards the top of the follow through into an awesome position, the look of an absolute flusher.